Oh my gosh. I have so many notes on these products. I've opened them because I wanted to give you price breakdowns and review numbers and some conspiracy theories on some of these products. Hello, my name is Brittany. Welcome. If you're new here, I do unboxings, market vlogs. I have a handmade business. I do a lot of like showing you my prepping for markets, uh, packing orders, etc. I'm so glad you're here. Um, yeah, we have Ipsy to do. So we have Glam Bag, which is $14, the Boxy Charm, which is $30, and then the Icon Box, which is only quarterly. You can upgrade from your Boxy Charm. I think you can upgrade from your Glam Bag too, but it's $60 a quarter. But when I tell you it's worth it, it is worth it. So let's head in. First, we're gonna start just with the Ipsy bag because I always start smallest to largest. And I'm gonna be looking down because I have my computer with all my notes in it. So one, this glam bag has Max hair on it. Um, it's so adorable. It reminds me of, is that Stony Clover? I don't have anything from them, but I see people reselling their stuff a lot on Poshmark. I'm always like, that's cute, but I'm not spending $100 for something I could literally easily make. I also have my Prime drink. Uh, if any of you have never tried Prime, these are amazing. They taste so good. This is the hydration water. Um, I think I have this in Moon Dust or something like that, but I love them. <laughs> this is so random. I'm so sorry. I do this all the time. So if you like don't like random tidbits, I will promise I'll go through these fast. Um, it helps you sleep. This stuff helps you sleep. It has so much magnesium in it. I sleep like a baby when I have, I only have one of them a day and it's truly like melatonin, but it doesn't make you tired through the day. It just literally makes you sleep well at night. I don't know, I can't explain it. All I know is if you have trouble sleeping, like I do, um, and staying asleep specifically, just try this once, get a little pack from Walmart or something, and then, uh, and then thank me after. Okay, back to Glam Bag, the bag, so cute. Um, first product we're pulling out is by e.l.f. This is the Glow Reviver Lip Oil. I am very excited to try this. I've heard really good things about it. Um, I also am just like an e.l.f. fan in general. I remember when I was in college going into Target and like everything was still $1 to $3 at that point. And it was very low quality stuff, but I've never felt like I could afford makeup like I did in that aisle at that time. And now it's like I go into the e.l.f aisle and everything's like 10 bucks. The change has happened. Anywho, <laughs> this is $8. It's in the color pink quartz and it has a 4.7 stars on Ulta. I have a lot of Ulta reviews. Um, it says it's supposed to nourish, hydrate your lips with a sheer tint and a glass like shine. And a lot of people were just saying they loved how it's not sticky and it has a very large applicator, which yes, it does. No, it's not sticky. There's like a very fine line of sticky and too thin. And this one feels good. It feels like a lip gloss. I don't know, like how, it doesn't feel like an oil. Oils are typically thinner. It's very like comfortable. All right, how do we feel about the color? I don't think it has much color, but maybe a tiny bit of a tint. I also feel like I have hip hop vibes today. I'm wearing the Palm Creatives um, Book Lover World Tour shirt, uh, so. Yes, I also have some, I went, I never wear bracelets. And so you're probably like, you never wear bracelets. I, do you guys remember when like people would stack a million of these? I don't even know. It's like bourbon and bows or something like that's the brand. I don't know. Um, but I, I have a bunch of them still. And then I found this anklet and I tried to put it on my ankle and it just like truly didn't fit even at the <laughs> largest one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut off the extra extenders and, it works as a bracelet. Um, so there's that. Uh, again, another segment that probably didn't need to be in, be in here. Uh, all right. The next product is by Miel. Maybe that's how you say it. It's a honey infused sugar scrub. This is a $5.04 sample size, and it's supposed to be a natural exfoliant that works to stop irritation, lighten discoloration, prevent ingrown hairs and bikini bumps, um, and razor burn. 
So essentially, it's supposed to be used in your lady areas or your leg area, anywhere where like you would get razor burn or irritation, your armpits, wherever. Um, this is supposed to help with that. I found it interesting. It is supposed to help with discoloration, so like darker areas and pigment. So I don't know. I uh, definitely have razor burn. I'm definitely very red anytime I shave anywhere. And so I'm excited to try it. It had good reviews. No, it didn't. It had no real reviews. All it had were Ipsy reviews. And I'm not even gonna put the Ipsy reviews on here because like I said in the last video, whenever anyone reviews something on Ipsy, it's like five stars, I didn't try it, or one star, don't ever give me something like this again in my Ipsy bag. And like, you know, it's like the people aren't trying the products, they're just doing it because I guess now Ipsy makes you review products and you don't get points. This is, oh, I don't know, I didn't mention it yet in this video, I always mention it. I get this stuff gifted from Ipsy. Um, for some reason, they still trust me to do videos, um, which I love. I love doing Ipsy videos. I've been doing them since 2012, so thank you, Ipsy. Uh, I hope that someday my views will be enough to keep me on here. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, the next product we have is by VC Collection. So when I saw this, I immediately was like, that's an eyeshadow, like a liquid eyeshadow. Okay, what do you think this is? Tell me, because you're wrong. It is a highlighter. There is no way <laughs> this is gonna be a highlighter for me. Maybe someone, but not me. But I can still use it as an eyeshadow. Back to my original plan for it. So let me open it and I'll read you the reviews. Nope, just kidding. No reviews at all except for Ipsy. Um, this is $18. It's in the shade Creamsicle, which doesn't really go with this color. <laughs> and the description is a weightless liquid highlighter with an intense glow. There's three colors in this collection. This is the middle color. And on the Ipsy reviews, a lot of people were just like, this doesn't match my skin tone, you know? <laughs> okay, let's just... I mean, it is pretty. That, I mean, it's gorgeous. I'm gonna use this as like a, a really thin eyeshadow. I think if you had a really deep skin tone, that would be beautiful. But if you have my skin tone, no. <laughs> okay, by The Professional, this is matte primer. And I, <laughs> this is brand new. So I was on Sephora. Looking up the reviews, it had a 4.8 like star review, 800 reviews, 800. And I'm like, there's no way, like this is brand new, this product. There's no way 800 people went on here and reviewed this. Um, No, I mean, 800 people did review it, but I went through pages and pages of Sephora reviews and every single one of those reviews said incentivize. And I was like, oh my gosh. They sent this to 800 people to write a review. Like one, that's expensive. Um, but two, like I can't trust it. Like I can't trust those reviews. I wish, like I'm all about, like I understand wanting to have people review the product and have reviews on the page. Cause I am someone that like, I, when I go on Sephora, I'm looking through reviews and reading, but I'm also skipping the ones that say incentivize. So I don't know, it's like double-ended. Um, anyways. This is a mattifying lightweight face primer and it's supposed to visibly refine pores, help makeup stay put and help shine, keep it in check. So yeah, I went on Ulta who also sells this product and they had zero reviews. It's brand new, like of course they don't have many reviews. I feel like they are gonna get some now that Ipsy has sent them out, but um, yeah, I just found that a little odd. 800 really and then lastly by Femu F-E-M-M-U-E this is the ideal intense eye cream another product that's just like I'm confused because I searched high and low high and low this is not sold anywhere but Ipsy um, it is a real brand and the brand is sold by places like Revolve and um, I had another note um, Amazon, but they don't sell this product. And so it's just at Ipsy, which tells me, I don't think it's discontinued because I would have found that somewhere, right? Somewhere on the interwebs would have been like this product existed, but it doesn't. Um, it's just on Ipsy. And so I did the 
Ipsy had their price of it. I did the math. This is supposed to be a $22.50 sample, which seems so high for, it truly feels like nothing's in here. Um, but then I'm like, do I trust it? Like if they only sell it at Ipsy, that's weird. That's weird to me. Um, it's a refreshing eye cream that's specifically formulated to hydrate the delicate eye area and help promote a brighter and more radiant appearance. So there's that. Oh, did I tell you guys this sample from Benefit was worth $4.77? And then the Miel Scrub was, I did tell you the $5.04. I just wanna make sure I'm like giving you the breakdown as we go um, and I'll give you the total breakdown too. Uh, but that was the glam bag. So random product. This one doesn't match my skin tone. I'm so excited about it. Very excited about the e.l.f. one. Still feels good on my lips. It's not burning. And then the Professional, which I honestly don't really use mattifying. My nose does get very oily. So like maybe I'll end up using that for my nose specifically, or maybe I'll pass it on to someone. Um, but the Glam bag is $14 to buy, um, have the subscription and that value in this month was $58.31. Am I overly excited about this glam bag this month? No. Actually last month wasn't that great either, I don't think. But I really have heard good things about this e.l.f. Uh, lip shine. And for $8, like the glam bag's not much more than that. I think it's still worth it. I do think it's still worth it. I think they just spoil us some months and then other months it's like meh but I think you're gonna have that. So next up, we have the BoxyCharm. This thing is heavy. If you love eyeshadow palettes, you will love Ipsy. I say that every month, and that's because you get eyeshadow palettes every month, and you will see. Uh, so, first thing first, we have Amika Undone Hair Spray, Texture Spray. I love Amika. I actually really like Texture Spray too. What, look how fun these colors are. So beautiful. I love it because my hair is very fine and very thin, not thin, um, very just like silky. And like when I put it up in a ponytail, it tends to just like fall out and droop. And texture spray fixes that for me. So when I saw this, I was like, I think this might be like my favorite in the box without saying anything else. $29, it's salt free and it's matte. And on Sephora, it has a 4.2 rating and the reviews look safe. <laughs> like I trusted those reviews. Next by Lunar Beauty, which I did not know uh, Manny MUA had a beauty line, but he does and it's Lunar Beauty. And I tend to like trust and enjoy makeup like YouTuber artists brands. I feel like they go, most of them, some of them, I don't know. Actually, I have no idea, but I feel like Manny MUA would go above and beyond to make sure his brand reflected like nice and quality makeup. You know what I mean? Like you're not, you're not just gonna throw out, especially someone as big as him, throw out a half-assed brand and be like, buy my stuff. Um, yeah, so I was, I'm excited to try it. I have not tried it yet. This is in the color Fugo Fuchsia, and it's a liquid blush. It looks really pretty. I have been very much enjoying my Drunk Elephant Rosy Drops, and so I'm hoping, I know this is gonna be way more pigmented, but if I just do a tiny bit, um, especially because the drops are starting to like dwindle now. I'm almost out of them. I'm gonna try this. Um, it's $25 and it's a medium to full coverage satin finish. I didn't actually read that at the time. Um, and will leave your skin hydrated and dewy without emphasizing texture. Great. Um, I do not have reviews for you because there are no reviews for this. That's okay. Um, next at oh, I remember you because I did I had to do another deep dive in this. This is the new company, and it's the Skin Filter Serum. And this is $65. It's a serum that hydrates, invisibly brightens, and tightens. Awesome. I'm getting older, I need tighten. <laughs> Um, this is what it looks like. It's very classy and chic and Sephora sells it. I love when Sephora sells stuff. I understand some small businesses, obviously it's very hard to get in Sephora. So I'm not going to be like anyone that's not in Sephora isn't worth trying, but if, and once you get in Sephora, I feel like that's a pretty good standard of this is going to be quality. You know what I mean? Um, 4.8 was the reviews, but <laughs> There so many of them were gifted. And it wasn't even like normally Sephora says incentivized. It wasn't like that. It was like in the review as I was reading it. I said, this was gifted. Um, 
And so I started noticing that like the ones that were like negative or kind of negative, um, there would be a review almost immediately after them from someone that like really broke down those negative reviews like way too in depth of being like they did this wrong and this is what you need to do to make it work like and like the science in it where I was like this review this positive review right now um <laughs> that's like completely bashing the negative reviews and telling them what they did wrong it has to be something or someone that works for the company you know what I mean <laughs> Like they were way too in depth with information for it to just be a random person. Like I'm not going on there and like fighting with people in the reviews. Like that's not what I'm doing. Um, and I feel like the only motivation you would have to do that is if you have like stock in this company. So I thought that was very sketchy. But a lot of people were saying it pills on you. And then a lot of the positive reviews were saying the only reason it's pilling is because people were putting products on underneath of it and you have to, you can't put silicone or, I don't know, I'm, I'm making up some of those words obviously, but like, yeah, it was odd. It was odd. I will, I will try this. I'm so excited to see how much it pills on me. <laughs> Um, and then we have by Farah. We get a lot of Farah products in Ipsy. This is a duo gel eyeliner. Um, what I find weird in this, and like I guess you can tell by the package because it's purple and black, is that it's a purple and black eyeliner. Um, am I planning on wearing purple eyeliners anytime soon? Absolutely not. Would I wear black? Yes. I just am like, confused by it. This is the only color duo they have is purple and black. Like, why? Why did they choose this? That's my question. <laughs> okay, $28, no reviews. Farah is the only one that sells it, Farah and Ipsy. And then lastly, we have an eyeshadow palette. So this is by Iconic London, and Sephora sells this, and so does, um, I think a f many places actually sells this. But again, I looked high and low. I looked on Iconic London's website and no one sells this but Ipsy. So it must be an Ipsy exclusive. This is the Treat Yourself eyeshadow palette. It's very much on brand with Iconic London's other products and like packaging they have. And so like you wouldn't look at it and be like, that's not something they normally sell. Um, so with that being said, the value is $60 and that's on par with their other eyeshadow palettes that are the exact same shape and size and amount. Um, very beautiful pastel colors. You have some shimmers in here. You have some mattes. It's just like, it's well-rounded. I like this. I probably won't keep it just because I have so many eyeshadow palettes. Um, but I might, I don't know. I haven't really decided yet. In high school, I was just such a fan of wearing blues. And so like every time I see blues and palettes, I'm like, should I try that again? I also remember when I wore those, I felt a little clownish. I just really like the color blue. <laughs> so I don't know, this will probably go into my makeup stash for a while. <laughs> and then I'll be like, eh, I'm gonna give it to someone. <laughs> okay, so that was all of the Foxy Charm. And if you were keeping tabs, which I'm sure you were not. Oh, did I say $60? I meant $62 on this one. I did say 60, um, $62. So this is a $30 box and it was valued at $209, which is very, very good. I feel like for the money. Uh, my favorite product is the price of the box, $29, basically 30. Um, for the, no, I shouldn't say my favorite because I haven't tried it yet, what I'm most excited for because I don't think I've tried a texture spray I haven't liked. It's hard to get that wrong. Um, yeah, so that is the boxy charm. I get so confused sometimes with these. Let me like move some of this out of the way so I can get into the icon box. Which, oh my gosh, you just wait. You just wait. <laughs> it's so good. If you've been like, this is meh, uh, this month on this, you're gonna change your mind. You're gonna change your mind. Okay, icon box time. Let me just go into my favorite product because it's on top. This, I've never heard of this brand. Sephora sells it, it's commodity in the scent juice, which, let me go to my notes. Um, I have the scent profile on here. Strawberry, raspberry, pulp, and rhubarb. And you might be like, that's such a bizarre blend 
um, and you're gonna smell like a five-year-old. No, it's, I have to put it on. Like, I love this. Mm. I don't know what memory it's sparking. Like, it has to be something where there's a memory attached to it, but it just brings me joy. It smells so good. Like, I never want to not have this on my body. When this runs out, I am 100% buying it again. Um, and they gave us the one fluid ounce of it. So when I was on Sephora, and like I went on to the other side, so you can't actually buy just one individual one fluid ounce perfume. You have to buy, I think Sephora has it at like three ounces or something for a hundred and like 40 something dollars, which, whew. Um, but if you go on to, I don't think Sephora will do this, but Commodities website, you can do a duo pack. So you'll get this one and another one, whatever scent. You can get the same scents or a different one for $120. And so I valued this at $60. I just split the difference, obviously. Uh, it's so good. So go into Sephora, find which scents. If you love two of them, go into Commodity and get the duo pack. Or just go to Sephora and get the one. Um amazing amazing I love it it's so weird I've never been like I need this perfume in my life I just I literally don't ever want to not have it on and so I'm gonna have to put it somewhere in my bathroom probably on my vanity where I just remember to use it scents are just such a strange thing with like emotions but it, I think it just smells really good I don't think it's necessarily like you have to have a, a good memory attached to it because I don't remember the memory um even if there might not be one it just it just smells good just leave it at that okay next we have by Leaf Lashes um a makeup brush set and this is $43 and they are so soft and so if you see you get a bunch of eyeshadow you get concealer brushes um you can get some i mean you can use them for whatever i'm not going to explain each one to you but like mainly eye area is what i would tell you um and then like highlight but yeah these are nice these are nice i'm not someone that ever buys makeup brushes anymore because like i just get them sent to me in ipsy because it i'm lucky i'm blessed um but i remember before i got this sent to me years and years ago when I used to wear a lot of makeup. <laughs> um, I would normally just go to Ulta because they have that big brush section, especially it cosmetics and just like feel them, just feel them. Next up by The Alchemist, um, The Grown Alchemist. This is a regenerating gel mask. Again, can't find this anywhere. They don't sell it anywhere. That means it is an Ipsy exclusive or discontinued potentially. But again, I never found anything on this. Um, and so we're just going off the Ipsy website and everything. This is a $70 value. Um, I was on their website and they have another gel mask that they sell. It's like age rewindish. Um, and they had it on sale for 45. And so if you're, if you want a mask, like you can get it on sale at some point. Um, but again, then this one is only sold at Ipsy. It's a healthy juice shot for your face. This lightweight gel mask is packed with a bunch of ingredients that I can't pronounce. Green tea and pomegranate, I can. And it's supposed to make your skin look even more even and feel more subtle, supple, 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 firm and hydrated. And has a cooling sensation. So it's a warm weather must. That's all I have. Um, no reviews because again, it's just Ipsy. So I'm not going to bother telling you those reviews because I don't trust them. Uh, not because I don't trust Ipsy, but because I don't trust the people reviewing them because they don't use they don't use the product before they like try it. Most of them, some of them do, some of them do. I will say that. Um, but I loved 0.01. This is an exfoliating cleanser. I found this on multiple websites. Um, I found it on CVS. CVS though, so it had a 4.9 on CVS. They had the most reviews that weren't incentivized, but they still had incentivized reviews. Everyone pretty much is gonna have them. Like that's what it comes down to. $17.99 price, people loved it. It's supposed to gently exfoliate your face and body, and it features a creamy texture, fine bamboo powder, and plant-based oil, seed, buckthorn oil, and rosehip oil. So it also has aloe vera in it for um, a calming effect. I will try it. I will try it. I love cleansers. I love cleaning my face. <laughs> so yeah, that will go. I also like that it's at CVS. That means it's a uh, very, what am I trying to say? It's very accessible, you know? Okay, because like Sephora, 
we just got one. We just got one this last month. I was gonna say we don't have one. We just got one. I've not been into it yet. It's inside of our cools. Anyways, next product is by Morphe. And this reminds me of like 2014, 2015. This is a continuous prep and set mist. Um, 4.7 on Ulta had pretty like decent looking reviews. People liked it a lot. $19 and it's supposed to hydrate, nourish, and strengthen your skin's barrier. I will use it. Yeah, I will use it. I remember Jaclyn Hill's Morphe line. Um, I don't know if she still does it. I don't think so. I feel like there was a lot of drama that I didn't listen to, but I read titles on like my YouTube subscriptions months and months ago. Um, so I don't, I don't know. She might still be doing it. But did I? I think I had something from her and really liked it. Um, I feel like Morphe in general, it's at Ulta. I've had like Jeffree Star's Morphe stuff and liked it a lot. So I feel like I probably will like this. Anyways, moving on. First Aid Beauty Facial Radiance Pads. And this is safe for sensitive skin, which is great because mine is sensitive. Um, this is worth $20, 30 nope, $38. 4.5 reviews on Ulta. Gentle Daily Exfoliator for Face to help brighten and smooth texture. I love First Aid Beauty. It's actually formulated for sensitive skin. I think almost everything they have um, can be ha like used on sensitive, sensitive skin. Oh my gosh. Uh, moving on. I'm going too fast. And it probably isn't even that fast for you guys. You're like, Ugh. she keeps talking. This is by JLo Beauty. It is the Bezo Balm Ultra Hydrating Lip Mask. And I found this on multiple sites. Amazon, JLo Beauty, their like website has it. This is worth $19. It has a 4.3 review on Amazon. Melts into lips with a glossy finish, seals in moisture for long lasting hydration, and visibly plumps and softens skin. Lips. People loved it. People loved it. It doesn't have a color to it, but the color is called Sweet Shine. It's just going to be see through, transparent. I will keep this. I love, uh, I actually normally just have, um, 99% of the time cherry chapstick on, but when I don't, it's going to be something that's like sheer, like this lip oil or something like this. So probably take this to work with me, honestly. Two more things. Why did I put a one up? Two more things. <laughs> iconic London, another product. Um, you get a lot of iconic London when you do Ipsy stuff, but this is the multi-use cream, blush, bronze, and highlight palette. And like this one, they do sell at other stores. And I I think I went on Ulta for this one. Let me look. Yep. So Ulta and, and everywhere else sells this for $49. has 4.5 reviews. And it has, I think, like six shades in it. Let me open her. And they're creams. That one will work for me. That highlight will work for me. Obviously, with like these type of palettes, you're not going to be able to use every single color. Like, I'm obviously not going to be able to use that one. Um, actually, for an eyeliner, that would be really pretty. I'm keeping this. I'm excited for it. There is no mirror in here, which I found strange, especially with this type of product. I feel like you definitely want to have a mirror in here. Or does it? Oh my gosh, that's crazy. No, there is a mirror. I wouldn't have seen that tab. Like, you, you can't see anything in this. Oh my gosh, the front of it is a mirror too. <laughs> so just kidding, you have mirrors everywhere. <laughs> That's a not, like, the front mirror, like, literally works just perfect. <laughs> so you get three bronzers, two blushes, and one highlight. Mm, I'm so excited for you. People on Ulta were just raving about it. Okay, last product. I am going to tell you guys, it, like, is so expensive. It's so expensive. This is MC Skin by Dr. Maram Zamani, Calming Moisturizer. I found it on um, many, like, brand size. So Nordstrom has it, Saks Fifth Avenue has it. Like, let me, just saying those names, you know that this is going to be expensive. Um, and it is, guess how much this is? $205. $205. This is a luxury product. I don't have, I don't think I've ever put anything like this on my face before. That's so expensive. Um, but I couldn't find any reviews on it. And so like, mm, 
uh what <laughs> nordstrom and Saks on the like when i googled it i said it has seven reviews and then i go onto their website and onto their page and it has zero reviews so i don't know if anyone loves it or not um it's so expensive no one buys it i'm sure nourishing daily moisturizer for sensitive skin and redness prone skin that is me that is me in a nutshell i'm so excited to try it i'm talking really fast now because my battery is dying um so yeah that was the icon box no just kidding one more product I almost forgot it. This. I'm actually going to make this today. This is Chrissy Teigen's The Perfect Chocolate Chunk Cookie Mix. At Kroger, you can get this for $8.99. On Amazon, it's like 10 something. You can get it in a three pack. Um, so get it at Kroger or Smith's if you're on the west side of the country. Um, so I will like probably link something, a voiceover right now about how this tastes. Confirm the cookies are good. Yep, they're good. <laughs> In conclusion, the icon box is $60 box. $529.98 value. This month was crazy. I love it. Favorite product of the whole every box is gonna be this perfume. The commodity juice. Smell it, try it, you will love it. Thank you for watching. My battery is dead, and I will see you guys very, very soon. Bye!